Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on our paint program. Now this can be found in the book Beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 by Theron Willis and Brian Newsom. Um, this is public, published by Rocks. Now this option form and changing the color and the brush sizes um, were all my idea. I just took the base of their paint program, walked you guys through it, and then we created this form right here that will let you change the brush size and the color. So what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is we're going to allow the user to clear the canvas and start over. So we will make this a little bit bigger and let's add a button. So we'll set the text to new canvas and then we will set the name to button clear. So whenever they click new canvas, what do we want to do? Well, we want to clear everything that is on our paint canvas VB. So let's come over here in the paint canvas dot VB, which is our class um, that the control uses, and we'll create a public method. So public sub uh, clear canvas. And this is, isn't going to take any arguments. So we'll just access graphics items dot clear so we created this array list called graphics items and what graphics items does is it stores every single shape that is drawn on the screen whenever we click and drag around so it paints these onto the screen when we're drawing now if there's nothing inside of this array list then it's not going to paint anything to the screen so if we get rid of everything in it by calling clear, um, all of our graphics items are going to be gone, all of our circles. And now what we need to do is make the canvas refresh. So we'll call me.invalidate. So this says, oh no, I have to repaint uh, the, the canvas because it has been invalidated and it needs to be updated. So under option form, Whenever they click button clear, what we want to do is we want to access our my paint form. So my paint is a type form one and it's an object. So we'll do my paint dot paint canvas one, which is an object of paint canvas that is inside of my paint. And we want to call clear canvas. So we access our form, then the object of the control in our form. Then we access the clear canvas method inside of that. So we'll go ahead and run it. Here is paint VB. We'll set the brush size to say large or medium, and we'll change the color to red. We can go ahead and just draw as much as we want. And then when we click new canvas, you can see that it erases everything on our canvas and we can start over. So we'll change the color to black and we can continue drawing. So, um, you can also have it set the brush size back to the default and the color back to the default if you click new canvas um, but we're not going to be covering that in th this tutorial um, you guys know enough about programming already um, that you should be able to do it you would just set the color property and then set the brush size property whenever they click the button which is quite simple so um, go ahead and make this program if you haven't already um, and then if you have any changes you made to it to make it better um, or to add some functionality, um, go ahead and leave a video response if you can, uh, or tell us in the comments what you've done. And if you made it and you just want to show it off, then you can go ahead and leave a video response uh, as well. So, thanks for watching this series on painting the creating the paint program in Visual Basic. And upcoming in the next tutorials, we're going to be working on other programs.